been trying to build this system for how to play music live, kind of the stuff that I want to be doing. Um, I'll show you under the hood. But basically, it involves um, using two light pad blocks and this brand new um, blocks dot topology um, functionality that's built into the blocks pad, which lets you store scenes. Um, you can store different things on uh, diff two different light pad blocks. So I have, you know, this first, um, maybe it'll be actually be better if I show you this in presentation mode. Um, you can see at the bottom those eight squares. The top left, it just looks like a keypad. Keypad, you can see when I'm pressing it. This does different things depending on what I need to do to the patch. If I need to run through presets in the preset manager, I have it right now. It's in preset mode. If I wanted to change the pitch of my sample playback thing, then I can go here and hit. I use, I use uh, this blinking button here to turn it into, to control the pitch of a sampler. Um, moreover, you can see directly below that right here. Is my mouse showing up? Oh, yeah. This right here is another keypad that controls, um, if I go to the correct scene for it, it controls um, just a synth patch. Um, um, but the pressure, the pressure sensitivity of after you've hit the note and you can kind of, the aftertouch of it will control a filter. That's all very simple. Um, and then there's, um, you can see these slider objects control different things in my patch, like how big the reverb is, or how much reverb there is, or how much dry signal there is. That's all pretty simple. And then I have, um, you can see if this is playing, um, for instance, if it's playing, you can see that I've also, I'm using this LED bar here to kind of signal where I'm at in the beat. It's some, you can use it in index mode or in value mode, and you can, um, scale it to follow values. So I'll just send a value out of my master clock here, and um, it comes down here into this counter, and then from this this counter, it'll send to the rolly, uh, to the LED bar, so that I can kind of see in hardware where I am if I sort of need to get my bearings. Um, but... Um, Josh, what is the patch doing? Oh, the patch is, um, well, I got... I, I got tired of thinking about music in terms of, uh, um, you know, rhythms and tempos, because it feels like, as much as I love techno and I love to make it and I love to listen to it and I love to uh, get wasted and hang out at Berghain at eight in the morning on a Sunday, <clears throat> it's a shit. I love it, but for me, it started to feel kind of like a like a cage. So what this does is, um, this object here. Thank you, Tom Hall. You'll notice I have Tom credited right here. Tom showed me this trick with multi-slider, um, where each of these right here, each of these values represents a time value, which then gets sent out to here and multiplied by a BPM that is converted into milliseconds, and then fed to a delay, which then delays the, the next step by this variable amount of time. So it's in terms of thinking about music in terms of the time between events. Here's event one, then there's a time period, and then event two, and then a time period and event three. And uh, you can draw these curves in, and the tempo will follow it. You can see the higher it is, the slower it is, the lower it is, the faster it is. Um, the next thing I'll need to do is get Tom to show me how to do this math in the signal domain. Probably going to have to be Jen, but since I'm kind of a beginner, um, I'm doing it in a, with data and hoping for the best and trying to not go too fast with it. Um, but that's it. Um, the rest of this is pretty simple stuff, but the blocks, um, the blocks is a really fun way to, to, to play this patch because the patch is designed as an instrument, a compositional tool or a live performance tool. And there's, I have multiple versions of this now, and this one is the one that's kind of specifically designed to work with blocks. And it's been a fun way of kind of, uh, I could hypothetically travel with this pretty easily with these tiny little controllers that have all of this, um, after you've done a little bit of work with topology, it has this wonderful functionality of I can have I can tell it which, which screens to display on a per-device basis. And that's kind of what blew the doors open on this. Thanks. <laughs>